Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this bitmap, and then they also sent me the trace. And when you move it, you can see these unwanted lines. And if we even left-click, right-click, there's all these unwanted lines. So I'm going to try to retrace it, but it's going to do the exact same thing. But when I trace something, I'm going to make it really little. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just see how big it is. And it's go ahead and bump it up to like 300 dots per inch and say, okay. Go to bitmap, convert it to bitmap, convert it to bit black and white. Probably don't even have to do that. But then outline trace clip art, which we normally do, it's going to do the same thing, I think. Now, when we look at it, well, there's actually no lines. So it worked pretty good just doing that. Um, we'll go up to object, group and ungroup, and then just grab the black and move the black out of the way, and then all your white's there. So that did work. Now there's some, a lot of times you think there's some little white dots, and there might be, but they're just yellow showing through. So that trace worked a while ago when I traced it. Uh, maybe I didn't uh, bump it up, but you can easily get rid of these lines. Um, it looks a lot worse than it is, but sometimes they're connected together. So if we just grab and delete one, then it deletes a lot of them. So we can get rid of all these lines. And a lot of times when you do that, uh, sometimes you can, it can't really in this case, but just zoom in and get those unwanted lines. A lot of times you can, uh, once you've deleted a line, uh, you can select it. But in this case, there's so many nodes, you just can't. So you're gonna have to delete every line that's in between. But it's a lot better than deleting all the lines. So my suggestion for you, Mike, is just to uh, look at retracing it, maybe step up, make it small, and retrace it. Whenever you see something like that, just go back, do the undo key. We're going to have to really zoom in to get this last line that's right there. Probably wouldn't cause a problem, but it does. Now, you know, looking at it, since we're going to smart fill, it doesn't really matter, but it, you could move these, you know, we got some nodes that are crossed and uh, might make a better looking tree if you get the, you know, like the, these are just so close together that it's uh, not going to really look too good. There's like a, a menagerie of nodes right there. We could go through here and try to delete them and that work. We could delete that one, you know, just kind of clean it up a little bit. It's a palm tree. You're not going to, uh, it's kind of ironic. This is the second palm tree I've done today. And then just take your smart fill tool and fill that in and see what it looks like. I got my smart fill tool set on blue, move that out of the way, make sure there's nothing showing and then click on it. And there's actually a black spot in there, but I think it's really nothing. It just might just be a lot of, you know, you might want to get rid of that and, um, but not really, I mean, it's part of the palm tree. So let's left click, right click. And just, there's so many little bitty dash lines. That's why it's black. Uh, Cause the, the line is thicker than the field can be. You're gonna find that a lot. You know, like right here, that's so thin that there's no field gonna get in there. Now this time, let's set our smart field on black and fill in that tree. Now, if you look over here in a second, it didn't hit that part because the line of our yellow box, whoop. And whenever you hit the smart fill tool, when, when you don't mean to, it's gonna do that. So you could make your yellow box bigger, make sure it encompasses the whole thing. Then just take your smart fill tool and fill that in. And then I would definitely move that out of the way and use this copy. That's a good, crisp, clean. There's a little, a little bump at the bottom you can get rid of but you could just delete those two nodes and then take these two and right click and turn that into a, a line, you know, get rid of them. I would get rid of these little bitty pieces of, you know, not really necessary. It all depends on what you're going to engrave it with, but that's a good looking unit or good looking clip art. So here's the one I did earlier and side by side. Yours is, the one is a little bit better, so it 
Maybe it took out some of those lines when I traced it. This is a lot better. So I would clean up those lines and I just see something right there that looks square. You know, you don't really want anything that wants square and you can't really click on it, but you can delete those nodes, delete that node, and then sneak in here and delete all these nodes. You don't want anything square. But other than that, and depending, you know, maybe I would try this, select them all, go up and reduce the nodes, put in 20. Didn't really change it. But you're going to have a lot less nodes. Anyway, I hope that solved the problem, and thank you for watching.